Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, another video today. It's been what, five, six weeks since I've had the van, and today's the day when we're actually going to try and start it. I've got to go and grab some petrol. I've got a couple of mates coming that know more about mechanics than me. They're coming around in the van out. I've had a list of stuff to do to the van, which I'll go over in a little bit, but at the moment, I've just got to go head out, grab some fuel. I'm going to get for 10 litres, chuck that in there and try and start it, see how it goes. Hopefully it don't blow up. Okay. So, right we'll get a battery cover off. Right, okay. Is it 10 mil on there, wasn't it? Is it on? Yep. Okay, cool, we've got no no lights or anything on. You're gonna put some oh, coolant in it. Yeah. Well, it's not it. Again, I've got to get um, a flat surface thing to flush it out properly. Is there anything in there at all at the moment? No. Yeah, I'll whack some in. Do more filming. <laughs> Your mechanic and film. Yeah. Right, so I'm guessing this is me pretty rusty lead valve. Is that right? Yeah. Finding a bit of the old WD on that. Okay. One there and one here. That is your other one there. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
So that's it, start running straight out of the pipes off. Yeah, this way. It looks all right so far. I need colour. Do you have the correct colour for your van, don't you? Or for your vehicle? Stick a bit of food colour in it. G12 or whatever it is. Well, nothing's leaked out here. Mm. It'll probably be at the radiator <coughs> where it does. Right, change your point. How are you going, Paul? Yeah, good. How's it going? Not bad. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay, got nothing coming out at the front. So now that's, that's about halfway full. For now, what I've seen online, once you once it starts, that drop. gets sucked in. Right. Then I put the <coughs> next two litres out in. Unless I do mix and blend, and now I, I put five litres of water in after five litres of that. So where's that going to? It's going to there. So this is going to be closed at the moment, so it's not going to go any further than this until it opens. And when I flushed it out, I put the hose in here, and it ran straight I did it. through the bottom there. Okay. How much have you got in this? Eight litres? There's five litres running at the moment. It's leaking out. Wait. Good, good. Okay, so we should try for a start then. <coughs> Shall I? I'll pull this one off in a minute. Yeah, pull, pull this off completely. So pull that one off. Where's my fire extinguisher? Yeah. Right, well, arms coming off just as we prime the system. Don't it blowing up back here. Let's have one more quick check of the pipes at the front that I put on. They look okay. So that was the fuel in the actual carb there. Yeah, that fuel in the carb actually gives you a little bit. Come on, get that bad boy going. really loud either and there's no smoke master mechanic right now I've got to get me cool and going in while it's running we have success 
20 years that sat there. Good old Volkswagen. Let me check the return thing. That's working. Apparently, this is waste there. <laughs> what are we looking for here? I'm just looking to see if the oak actually opens. What is top? Yeah. Just need a gap for it. Is it like an instant thing or not? No, it's quite slow, but. Oh, so that pin will actually like drop down with it? Usually the top, yeah, so you can just see some daylight through it. Yeah, that's what we're doing, I think. No. So do we assume that's not working? I, I would... I would assume it's not, it's not actually doing anything. Okay. I can't see anything through there. This is like the, is that not done anything over there? That's a bit cold that water now, but no. can we get him in there? We've got some nearly all got some nearly bubbly stuff going on over here. No, Could have just been stuck as it's been there for 20 years. I think it probably was just a bit stuck. And now we've freed him out because he's definitely Is it going down much quick easier? Oh, that's looking good. Yeah. With my mechanical skills. Yeah. This is how everyone does it, I've heard. Stick him in there. And just look for the... the gap on the top. Is that moving? Not yet. Yeah, there he is. Is the opening? Yeah, look down there, you start, I can see the bottom of it now. Oh, right, yeah, I see. That's what we're looking for, that daylight gap. Yeah. Is that going all the way around? Yeah, I hope you... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've got it as well, I'm filming inside of the pan, yeah, we got that. <laughs> yeah, look, it's well open now, look. Oh yeah, all right. That's the thermostat boiled, that works. Yeah, so he's good now. Look, when you take him out, you'll see the gap, the size of the gap on there. Oh, it's a proper gap now. Yeah, proper gap now, now. Yeah. When you take him out, he starts to close up. Oh yeah. yeah. Sweet. Check the thermostat, that's now gone back in after putting it in the wrong way. That was me, yep. And we just got to put the coolant back in, restart it, and hopefully the water will head down to the radiator. And then we'll be good. Probably 0 to 60 in a couple of days. Right. Them up. Oh, that's a torque wrench we're using, obviously. Yeah. We've talked them up to 20, whatever it is. Right. Okay, hopefully that won't leak now. All right, let's put this stuff back in. I'm trying, to, trying to film me gangster. Go 
wrong. Oh, that's perfect. I don't really get that in there. Slowly, slowly. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect filter. Yeah. Hard to pay for one. We're not tight enough into really it's cooler. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff's expensive. Oh come on, you do anything? Yeah, he's going. as fast as our fuel pump is working. That's for us actually. <laughs> We've got some oil, we can stick some oh. more oil in. Does it actually fill up? No. Oh yeah. Uh, no, I think it's I think it's coming out the side of the sock. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's where I just lifted it up. Oh yeah? Uh, I lift it up and it all splurted out. I don't know if it's filled up or not. I'll let this one go. <laughs> well, at least, I ain't, at least that's not leaking. Yeah. That's all right this time. And if you need advice on how to make this top notch filter, we can put that in the description that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, still loads left. It's hardly done anything. Ah. <laughs> 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 Take like a couple of bags. Maybe I shouldn't have shouldn't have, oh, have double bagged. <laughs> did you tell what you did? <laughs> yeah, don't worry, we got this. It's coming out here so slowly. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I'll just put the rest of the coolant in. Anyway. That's what's that about a litre there? I've still got that. Oh, come on! It's because you double bagged the sock. <laughs> oh no, I didn't actually. I just rolled it down to make it look better. Oh, it's all coming out of here. No <laughs> <laughs> way, it'll, it'll get there. <laughs> this is what I've been told to do. No way. Do I need to give it a little hand? That's what the people want on YouTube, isn't it? This is it, yeah. <laughs> That's what you pay the money for. <laughs> if you need us to come around and work on your bus. We'll bring our sock. <laughs> yeah, bring my, my little... I can't really buy these, you've got to know how to make these. <laughs> is it going in at all? <laughs> how much is that? Oh, maybe I should chuck that in. I'm on my YouTube swing on tight. <laughs> yeah, like I say, it's not leaking at least. No, no, it looks alright. Oh, can you hear it? Ah, oh, mate, that's better. I had it bunged up. Hello? Alright. Yeah, no worries. Cool. Yeah, cool. Don't go wrong! What time's it open? Oh, it's Ben. What's Benny man doing? Oh, did you? Oh, he's just turned up. How do you know it's me, guy? He's <laughs> got his new car, look. Yeah, uh, no, Ben's got his new motor. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd love a car. <laughs> Pretty much. No, thank you. You're going home, are you? To get some okay, all right then. I'll see you soon. See you later, baby. Bye. Bye. Oh, how much is that filled back up? <laughs> yeah, in an industrial warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh,
Well, am I filming that engine? Yeah, just don't know. Is this going? How do you make it go? I think it's going to go down, Is that still open, that one? No, it's, this is not open. Cause if you read no, I mean the thing on top, is that closing? I don't know how we try to go to an uh, Front is closed, is what I think. Because this pipe here is still stone cold. That should be going through there. But it must be going through. If there's little bits of air coming out of the radio. Yeah, true. I wonder if it's got a bypass hole in it. That's how they drill a hole in it, so it bypasses, but only a little bit. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, oh that's, yeah, that's what we need. Ah, oh, maybe it's got to come a bit further out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's not hot anyway. It says it gets like air bubbly. There's quite a lot of air coming out of it. Just a little pissing. And that just looks like liquid now, I don't know. It's like water now, yeah. And that's the clean stuff that you put in there. Oh yeah. So we'll close that for now. But that's not, that's still cold. Uh. It doesn't need to be pressurised, does it, with a cap to pull it through? Alright. Sure. When for the thermostat to open, so this will drain and we can top it up again. Then we are good. Oh, do you do this one back up? Did you do that back up? Yeah, I thought I'd wait until... Obviously it was warm. Wait until it turns out it's actually open. And we were leaking. Oh, yeah. Let's check the fuel pipes. And the it. Looking good. How long do these things take to warm up on idle? Anyone let me know? <laughs> Alright, All right, guys, that's the end of this one for today. The van is starting, let's have a quick check just to show you. Pretty good. Uh, what did I 
do to it to get it running. It sat there for 20 years. My mate told me what to buy. I've literally done the full fuel pipes from the fuel from the tank to the carb, the little bit in the engine bay, then the return pipes. A uh, new filter, obviously drain the engine. Uh, new oil, new oil filter, plugs, leads, distributor, rotor arm, new water pump, new fuel pump. We had a bit of an effort getting the fuel up to the thing because my driveway is on a hill. So what you end up doing was taking the fuel pump off, manually pumping it until fuel started coming out. We put it back on, turned it, pretty much started as you saw. I'm so I'm well chuffed, so chuffed. Next thing is welding. I got to do both door seals are done. Rear wheel arch I want to get replaced. I think no, both arches actually, and both little quarter panels at the back. Once that's done, I think then it's just brakes, and we're ready to try the MOT. But that's a couple of months down the road. I'm just so pleased it's running. Let's have one more go. See if it just run a fluke. Is. I know that was a bit of a mishmash video, I didn't get to film everything, but job's done, perfect. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.